Let's talk about the absolute number one best remedy for unclogging or cleaning out your arteries. Now, what is a clogged artery? It's an artery that's filled with plaque. Plaque is a Band-Aid composed of partially fibrin, which is a kind of a connective tissue protein, and partially calcium. A lot of times when you have plaquing, you also have stiffening of the artery. You also have a lot of inflammation that attracted this plaque in the first place. Many times you also have associated high blood pressure. That's what a clogged artery is. So the perfect remedy would include this um, reduction of cholesterol. And I'm talking about the oxidative LDL, which is a kind of a pathogenic type cholesterol. And it would also include something that would break up this fibrin, this protein that causes this, this clotting action. But a perfect remedy wouldn't give you any additional side effects either, right? Like, for example, the medication statin. Does the statin have some side effects? Well, it's fascinating how they promote statin. Uh, one drug involving 2,000 healthy people over the age of 50, which, by the way, showed a 50% reduction in your risk of getting a heart attack. And this is non-fatal heart attacks, okay? Reduction of 50%, that sounds pretty attractive. But if you actually study the study, you're going to find out that wasn't a 50% reduction in heart attacks. It was actually only a 1% decrease risk in heart attacks. And just by manipulating the numbers and using something called relative risk reduction versus something called absolute risk reduction, you can enhance these numbers to make them sound very effective. And without getting too far into the woods, absolute risk basically is talking about the actual chance of you getting a heart attack. It's comparable to like your chances of getting hit with lightning, right? But when we get into what's so-called relative risk, Okay, let me just explain what that means. With this particular five-year study that I just mentioned, if we take the group that was given the placebo, not statins, there is a 98% chance of success of getting no heart attacks, okay? And then if we look at the group that was given the statin, the chance of not having a heart attack was 99% in the statin group. But if we look at these numbers a little bit different, and we go from two out of 100, let's say to one out of 100, and divide those two numbers, we get 50%. Because one is 50% of two. Not many people are going to be too motivated to take this drug. There's only like a 1% difference. So they have to manipulate the numbers to motivate people to take this drug. But on top of this 1% decreased risk of getting heart attack, there is a 5% increased risk of some slight minor complications called side effects. Myopathy, which is muscle problems and muscle disease. You also have erectile dysfunction. You have low testosterone, neuropathy, dementia, hemorrhagic stroke. Yes, that's right. Stroke increases as you decrease the non-fatal heart attack and an increase in cancer. And of course, they don't mention the relative risk of that increase by 5%. Instead, they just kind of focused on that 50% uh, decrease. So the perfect remedy would not have these serious side effects. And this remedy has been used by the Japanese for over 2,000 years. And the remedy is called NATO kinase. NATO kinase is an enzyme. It's the most prevalent ingredient in NATO, which is fermented soybeans which is a really popular uh, side dish that the Japanese uh, consume. And of course, this fermented uh, soybean, NATO, is loaded with vitamin K2. Now, um, I don't know if NATO kinase has vitamin K2, but NATO definitely has vitamin K2. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, this NATO kinase because it's you would think it'd be in every newspaper around when you really study it and learn about what it can do, but it's quite fascinating. First of all, it's a very potent fibrolytic compound. It's a protein that helps with the clotting process. So natal kinase breaks up clots potently. In one experiment, they showed a decrease of thrombosis by 88% within six hours. 
So it's a great dissolver of this protein. In fact, they're also using it to help dissolve nasal polyps that give people a lot of uh, sinus issues. It has a very direct effect on the LDL that's oxidized, like oxidative LDL, which is involved in this clotting. It has very strong anti-inflammatory properties because you have to realize that the inflammation started this whole problem in the first place. And the endothelial wall of that artery, which is the inside layer cell of that artery becomes uh, damaged, probably from either sugar or omega-6 fatty acids or smoking or whatever. And then here comes the Band-Aid, the placking. Without that inflammation, chances are you're not going to accumulate the Band-Aid in the first place. The other cool thing about uh, natokinase is its ability to lower blood pressure. Natokinase inhibits or suppresses the thickening of that artery wall. It also increases the HDL and lowers the triglycerides. It was also shown in a a study in 2004 to decrease the risk of strokes because what it can do for the brain. Mainly people get uh, placking in the coronary arteries around the heart, but you can also get them in the carotids through here too. In one study, they combined natokinase with ginseng and uh, actually observed a shrinkage of placking in the aorta. Now, yes, it was in animal studies and some rabbits, but if you have a pet rabbit that is developing placking in their aorta, now you have a remedy. But in addition to all those positive effects, there was virtually no adverse effects. So natal kinase is something you definitely want to look into if you have placking or want to start to reduce your placking in your arteries. Now, there's a bit more information on placking, especially as it relates to vitamin K2. If you have not seen my video that got 10 million views relating to the best meal to take to clean out your arteries, you should definitely check that out. I'll put it up right here.